Alright, this video is for those who have a Zenith Old uh, 1950 to 57 um, Cobra Matic record changer. And for some reason, when the tone arm enters the uh, into the record track, it, it doesn't cycle. So I'm going to show you what causes that and what you can do to correct it. All right, I've taken the skirt off of this um, particular Cobra Matic, and I'm going to remove the um, hold-down lever. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the platter. You just put your fingers under the edge of the platter like this and lift up. Work it up over the spindle and remove it. This is an old beater, so it's missing the spindle and a couple other parts. But the first thing you want to check when you remove the uh, platter is this little spring. Make sure that it's connected to this little um, uh, little arm and attachment with this little um, off-center type cog wheel. This oscillates back and forth during uh, a record play. And you can see underneath here... I'll show you that in a second. There's a little uh, lever underneath that corresponds. There it is. You see it uh, through the little window here? And it, and it moves with the tone arm. What's happening underneath is this particular lever right here um, moves when the tone arm moves. And when it, you can see it's grounded here. Get a grounding wire going from this little lever to ground as you do with the uh, engagement switch. And they go to the solenoid, which releases the, uh, the cycling wheel. Uh, there's a little release right here. Did you see that? I'm going to set this back up again. When the uh, solenoid engages, it pulls this little hammer. And you'll see over here, this little catch releases and causes a little cog to come out and catch on the spindle and begin its rotation. So let's um, do that again. See it? Okay. So that's all the solenoid does is it lets this little, little tooth pop out. And it pops out right here. See that little tooth? Um, pop out and it catches the little cogs on the bottom of the platter and begins the cycle. And that's what a cycle looks like when it fully rotates. Alright, um, so this lever touches this little band right here. And this little band sends the negative or ground to the solenoid to engage. So when the tone arm swings, you can see it on the bottom there, it causes this little arm to go over and touch this. Well, the little oscillating wheel on this side, this little thing, is actually this little, little pushover um, cylinder that it, it constantly pushes the uh, this little lever away from the uh, from touching ground and it constantly oscillates it's a velocity trip so at the end of the record when the tone arm is playing the record of course it plays very slow and advances towards the spindle but at the end of the record it moves kind of quick and when it moves quick is when it can actually move faster than this little oscillating arm here and allow this this arm to touch um, an electrical connection here on this little band and engage the solenoid. So first thing I want you to check is uh, make sure the spring is in place. If the spring comes off and this little movement here is in this position, nothing's going to happen underneath. In other words, I'm going to hold it in that position. See it move. This swinging arm that needs to make contact with 
this little connection here will never make contact because this little rod's preventing it from touching. This has to be able to go back and forth and that spring allows, allows it to do that. So first thing I want you to check is this little spring. Make sure that this is connected here with the spring. If not, just put the spring back on and um, that'll work properly. The next thing that you need to check is you need to remove the chassis from the uh, record changer to do this so you can expose the underbelly like this and um, make sure that this swinging arm is able to touch this little connection here that has the wire that goes to the solenoid if it can't touch that for some reason maybe it got bent sometimes I've seen them on this side they, they get um, askew during shipping um, that would cause it not to cycle at the end of the record so those are the things you need to check good luck with that